Okay, today on Off Chemical Life, we're going to be doing endothermic and exothermic reactions. Um, let's first get to what an endothermic and exothermic reaction is. Uh, I have my water running in the background, don't worry. Uh, an exothermic reaction is a process that releases energy. Basically, whenever you, whenever you have an exothermic reaction, it's releasing heat. It's basically um, taking the uh, taking the uh, uh, cool atmosphere or whatever you had your cool product and absorbing that to make heat. Uh, so it's basically a process that releases heat. Now I think I'm saying that right. Um, that's basically how it's described from, uh, what it says. Um, but I'll keep going on from my little booklet that we did a, co a couple days ago. Uh, a process that releases energy in a form of heat, forming a chemical bond, releasing energy. Therefore, in an exothermic process, exothermic reaction usually feels hot because it's given, because it's giving heat to you. Okay, so I have no idea. Uh, my teacher really didn't make any sense explaining it to me, but uh, I'll try to go buy my notes. So, but we'll be doing the endothermic reaction first. Um, an endothermic reaction is a process, a process or reaction that absorbs energy in the form of heat. Breaking a chemical bond requiring energy and therefore endothermic endothermic reaction. Therefore is that the endothermic reaction. Endothermic reactions usually feel cold because it's taking heat away from you. Basically it's absorbing heat from you and making it cold. So, uh, let's get to it. What I have is some sodium hydroxide which is already eating away my glass. If you can't see. It's actually eating away my glass already. Uh, from sitting in there. And then I have some ammonium nitrate. So first we'll do a little reading on the water. And the water reads 25 degrees Celsius. So, it's not a freezing, it's about, mm, not room temperature, but, because I'm not even in the room. It's kind of cold, but it's, there's our baseline, 25 degrees C. So, uh, tw just remember, 25 degrees. Now, we'll add that, and we'll add the water to it. Sorry, I'm trying to kind of stand over the camera. And it's dropping down to 15 degrees C. kind of wanted to get to 0 degrees C. That would be awesome freezing point of water, but I'm using water to process this reaction. So it's at about 14, uh, 13 degrees C and it's dropping. So we had about a mm, uh, 10 degree drop from that little reaction. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to get my paper towel, I'm going to take my thermometer and wipe it off, because hydroxide reacts with ammonia, ammonium nitrate, to form uh, ammonia gas, and sodium nitrate, which I'll be doing in another video. Okay. So now that we did this, we'll keep an eye on this, and this is actually extremely cold. It feels like I'm walking outside or sticking my hand in the freezer. So we'll let that sit. So now we'll take our 50 mil 
round bottom, 2440 round bottom flask over here. And this is something I'm glad they invented goggles for, because I kind of don't want to get this crap splashed in my eyes. This is sodium hydroxide. Remember, this is giving out heat. This was an endothermic reaction. This is an exothermic reaction. So that should give out heat. And our baseline was... was 25 degrees C. And it's still at 25 degrees C. So this should go up to actually boiling point of water. It's uh, rising. It's at 60 degrees C. 65, 70, 71 degrees, 72, 73, 75 degrees C, and still climbing. So, trying to get that set down so you can actually see the thermometer. So it actually climbed to 70, almost, almost 80 degrees C, which in Fahrenheit, uh, water boils at 100 degrees C, so around 200, uh, 190, 160 to 190 degrees, it should be at. So that's an exothermic reaction. If you want a better explanation, um, there's a lot of other people on YouTube who actually have better videos than mine. But I'm just trying to give a little explanation of what endothermic and exothermic reaction is. Now, in the upcoming video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, use a distillation apparatus and how to set it up and everything like that. But, what I'm going to do here... Uh, I'm gonna actually neutralize, or, yeah, neutralize, uh, the base, which is a sodium hydroxide, which is actually extremely, extraordinarily hot. So I'm trying to keep my black little platform over here black. And, uh, I'm gonna add the hydroxide, uh, to that in a later video. So, thanks for watching. This was endothermic and exothermic reactions. Um, you can perform these at home. I got the ammonium nitrate, what I have right here, from uh, instant cold packs. And I got the hydroxide as aerobic uh, uh, drain cleaner, or drain opener. This should stay on the back 100% pure lie or sodium hydroxide. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe, please subscribe, rate, comment, and do all of that jazz. By the way, go out, go check out um, the other people's explanations of a uh, endothermic and exothermic reaction. I'll give you the notes that my teacher actually gave us uh, down in the description too. So thanks for watching.